but a lot for each other, my father and I. And many times we used to lay in the bank, we used to reminisce. So. The holidays. We used to have with the mother and family and family. And he used to tell me, my son, please don't do our mind, please don't let talk. Let's continue our life together the way it is. Many people in concentration camps formed close friendships, often referred to as camp families. My camp sister's name was Frida Ringler. Frida and I were like sisters. She was Czech. We became friendly in Graben, the first camp, and we shared everything. When Frida got an extra bowl of soup for some extra work, she would save me a half of it because I wasn't around. When she got an extra piece of bread, she would leave me some. When I had an extra soup, I remember I would always make a line on that bowl to Markov, which is hers. And I remember eating that soup and eating it so slowly and I would eat and I would come so close to what was Frida's part. For sure, I'm sure, never, never giving her an extra spoon, but never taking a spoon of hers. I never cheated on Frida. And I don't think she ever cheated on me. This man just couldn't take it. Nobody could take it, but some had more strength than others. One day, after an exhausted day, a special holiday, I think it was, he came back and his ration of bread was stolen and disappeared. He says, that's it. He wanted to get kind of our approval that we did not let him die. We did not just feed him his words. The three of us each got a third of our meager little impression. What did it consist of? A piece of like a bed like a brick, which was, as we know now, with sawdust in it and, and, and everything. And we gave a third of that, a third of our life for, to this man, so he should not give up. Matter of fact, to the best of my knowledge, he survived. I think it's a terribly important lesson. One should never, ever, ever give up. No matter how difficult the thing is, you know. Uh, giving up is a final solution to a temporary problem. Our problem wasn't so temporary. Nevertheless, it did pass. But one was keenly aware of the preciousness of life. 